Welcome back to the Booniverse. We are back with some more Next Fest demos. This one is Dredge. Dear, what have we done? I crashed into a big rock, despite the lighthouse at the top of the rock here. I'd think that you'd be able to see it, but clearly not through the fog. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Great Amaro. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. So basically the idea is, to start off with, is to go and catch some fish. So we're going to do that by driving our little boat around. But then we're going to sit on a spot and we're going to hit F and then we're going to play the fishing mini game. It's just a simple timing thing and then we catch a fish and then we move the fish to our inventory over here. And as you can see it's stacked up in little squares so we have to be efficient about our moving we can spin these things round and we can stack them in different ways at the moment we're catching coastal fish in this disturbed water and the stock as you can see here is low which means it will eventually run out so now it's depleted and we'll have to move on to the next spot uh, we don't have the equipment for this shallow water at the moment so different types of fish will be out at different times of day, but we will see more of that in a minute. That is a special cod. It's a trophy cod. It's worth more money. We can spin these round so that we can fit them into different places, these fish. In fact, what's going on over here, we can move this because that will fit into that slot there. So there is a difference between the sorts of fish you can catch during the day and the fish you catch at night. There's also some other things that happen at night. Oh, another trophy fish, nice. Let's fit that in over there. Okay, so the boat is now as full as we can get it. You see we've got these tool tips up here, time will only advance when we're fishing and when we're moving around in the boat. You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow, the mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So in order to sell our fish, we have to go to the fishmonger. We've got $50 remaining of our loan repayment. And now we can go and see the fishmonger. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, what happened to the other one? He... It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So, let's see what you've got. I've got loads of cool stuff here, man. So you see these ones are worth 1231. Standard ones are worth 822. Uh, this one again, 20, this one's worth 21.69, and the standard ones 
uh, worth about seven dollars less, which is uh, so it's pretty good. But we can just hold down F and we'll sell all our fish. Nice. Our debt is adjusted by twenty-four dollars. So actually, we've only just just over twenty-five dollars left to pay off our boat, which is you know one more fishing trip. The mayor's standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I've found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? So, we also have a storage, and we can put something like this, this research part, straight into storage by middle-clicking. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to help make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours round here. Payment is up front and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and shattered. Take a look round, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. So we can buy some extra bits and pieces here. Something like this weighted line, which we can't afford at the moment, will allow us to fish in the shallows, and it has a fishing speed of 40%. That will take three hours. This will only take two hours to install. We can afford it, and it has a fishing speed of 10%. Now there's a couple of little slots over on this side you can see highlighted where those will go. So we can buy this and we can install it immediately over here. It takes a couple of hours. We're not doing anything else today anyway so that doesn't really matter. What you can also do is you can uninstall parts that you've already got and you can install them in a new place. So now we've got a dedicated fishing rod slot on this side of the boat and there's nothing on this side of the boat. I think that's going to make it a bit more uh, economical when it comes to space. So for now we're going to rest and we will rest until almost dawn. You can see the time going up there. Then we're going to go out for another fish. So now we've got a rod that will fish in the shallows. Oh look we've got some squid over here. Let's grab some squid. This we can see our cabin over here it gives us our all sorts of things, our pursuits, our messages, our map and our encyclopedia. So every time we catch something new it will get entered into our encyclopedia. Let's go and catch a few more, let's see what's over here. So this is shallow waters. Okay, this is probably not the best way to do this. We can try moving things around afterwards. So if we have a look at the fishing spot, we can just go into the fishing spot. We can see what the fish is here. Now these are the ones that are just a two by one. And we could probably afford to get a couple of these to fit into these slots. Like that. And then we want to move on because we want something that will fit into those other gaps because we really want to make as best use of our space as possible. So now we want to go back to the fishmonger and we want to sell him. Ah, so he has some special orders now. So now we have specific things that we can catch to fulfill the order, which means we get a little bit of extra money, which is quite good. And we have already got at least one of those things here so we can put it in there now uh, but we do want to sell the other things as well so we're just gonna sell everything here like that there's only five dollars remaining that's pretty good I don't know if we need anything from the ship right now uh, we could buy another engine which means we could go a little bit faster I'll add 10 knots get that installed that takes us to four o'clock there's no other things apart from lights here uh, and lights are going to become useful just not right now I think what we do is we go out for a little bit more in fact I think I saw some eels so grab some eels and fulfill that order before the end of the day I think let's do that okay it's starting to get dark now as you can see in the top here 
there's this eye. <laughs> We're being watched. So we need to get out of the fog. We can select our lights. Uh, there are some different things we can select here. Obviously all these things are locked. We've got a spyglass, we've got a foghorn. And then we've got a light as well, which is going to be useful. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic, so bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. So that's what we want. We don't want panic. Panic's bad. I think if we go to the fishmonger quickly, we can fulfill the order. Fulfill the rest of this order. That's given us $52. I think what happens is the debt is paid from any of the normal fishing, and then those extra jobs just give us extra cash. So that's good. He has got some more jobs for us, with a bit of squid and a bit of black grouper. So we can do those at some point, but for now, we just want to sell these. That's the end of that. The mayor's walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Well, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't really choose to be here. I crashed. Let's have a look at the dry dock. This is a dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for the equipment, and even superior hulls. You'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. So we find those things by just dredging. We'll see that very shortly. None of these things are available in the demo anyway, so it's sort of pointless dredging, but that's okay. We'll show you those spots so you can see what that looks like. But for now, we're gonna sleep. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favour and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? I sure can. Let's stick that in there, shall we? The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Gross. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it, I don't want it to spoil. It's still only dawn, but it'll take us probably an hour to get across the water. Mm, what a delivery! Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh, this'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands me some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. He's a friendly dude. There's also a trader over here. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... no. Oh, I don't believe we met, forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No, we don't have anything nice. We haven't got any trinkets. Those are the sorts of things we find out on the water. So now if we have a look in our cabin, you'll see we've got the sustainable fishing book. If we click on, we will read it as we're doing other things. Still a little bit of fishing while we're out and about. Whoa, what the hell is that? All seeing cod. Species data added to the encyclopedia. Let's um let's check out our encyclopedia. Staring outwards, unblinking, eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. <laughs> That's uh terrifying. So if we go back to the shipwright, because I just banged into a bit of rock. It does look a little bit banged up. Yeah, can you fix it for me? That would be great. Uh, so we can repair all over here. 30 bucks. we got a fair amount of money. Uh, that's fine. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. 
He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. So we now got this handkerchief, a once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish, patterned with delicate crimson thread. A man is looking at you through the cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. So we can head over to Blackstone Isle and uh, see what this guy makes of this handkerchief. The Ruined Mansion. The man is standing in the doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I obviously accept. The relics you're looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box, and a key. Return when you have something. Alright. Fine. Mysterious dude. Spin this boat around and get out there. So I spotted a dredge spot earlier. Which is now... Yep, no, this is it. This is a dredge spot right here. So dredging works slightly differently to fishing. We have this little circle going round and we have to switch from the top to the bottom. And we found a ring. Oh, I want to watch out for that. Oh, okay, we're... we're oh, oh, I'm, I'm literally stuck on this rock. Uh-oh. What? Oh, oh god. Alright, just trying not to get completely smashed up. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? It's, uh, peaceful? It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while, maybe not come back. Say, so if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about, Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. Alright, cool, I'll do that. For now, we're going to rest. Okay, let's get back out. I do need to do some fishing at night because I need to finish off that other job, but... I kind of want to head north to see Steel Point. What's at Steel Point? So this is Steel Point out here, by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. And there's a material pile that we can add to. And this is the island where the builder wants materials delivered. So once we've got two lots of metal scraps and two lots of lumber, uh, we can come back here and drop those things off. So that will require us to do some more dredging. And there is a little bit to dredge around here, actually, so let's do that. Oh, a bolt of cloth. I was not expecting that. Uh, oh, more cloth. Okay. Looks like that's what we're getting from there. Uh, was there some more around here? This looks like metal, doesn't it? Oh, no, maybe not, actually. Oh, yeah. This is uh, scrap metal. Oh, okay. That's a research part. That's cool. And some more scrap metal. Oh, wow. We can keep dredging. Uh, we need to get some wood as well, so we're going to leave this spot for now. And it's six o'clock, so 
Yeah, it's getting dark. I think we may be able to rest at, at all ports. And we finished reading sustainable fishing, which is good. We are being watched, though, which concerns me a little bit. Oh, God, it's so dark. Let's get back to this dock. Please tell me we can rest here. We can. Whew. Okay, should we see what this thing was around here? Uh, over here. A once strong wooden hull lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely breached. Oh, can we get inside? You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. Oh, cool. Research parts. Some pearl earrings. They can squeeze into that spot over there. I think we can squeeze this in over here as well. I don't think we need those metal scraps. That's not really going to be useful to us. Although saying that, I think we might be able to put it into storage. I still want to leave enough room for wood. That's quite cool though, that we can just find stuff on the side there. Now we were told that there was a place north of the island, but this looks like wood right here. Nice. Ah, oh, see so that's three by... Okay, let's try and shuffle this around a little bit. Uh, I may have messed this up a little bit here. Oh no, that's fine. I've left enough space, but it's depleted anyway. <laughs> oh dear. It's depleted. I didn't realise. What's this over here? SOS? There's someone trapped on this island. There's plenty of boats around. There's like towns nearby. Why, why haven't they been rescued? Oh, what the hell's that? That looks like some kind of epic temple. Oh, entering uncharted waters, turn back. I wonder what happens. Let's risk it. Maybe it'll just teleport us back. I want to see what this is. Oh. No, we've been, ex we've been exploded. <laughs> have we got all our materials still? We have. Oh, no, here we go. Nice. Okie dokie. Ow. Oh, what? Damn it. I literally just found that. Okay. It's going to be night time again. Spent all that time circumnavigating the island trying to find stuff. Okay. Well, we can drop off some of these materials now. Yeah. Let's see. What have we got? Yeah, that's the damage. Oh, okay. So what happens is you get damage to your hull and then whatever was in that space gets lost. That's a shame. We can put those bits in anyway, so that's fine. And we just need one more bit of wood. Oh, look. Here we go. Might find a special fish. A lumpy mackerel. <laughs> Gross, dude. So we should have some night fish now. What's here? Oh, squid. Nice. There's loads of squid here. Okay, it's depleted. Right, it's now half past ten. And it's pitch black. Thankfully, we can see... Oh, what's that? I can hear something under the water. Oh, it's more squid. Whoa, brood squid. <laughs> There's some weird stuff going on, on under here. Lovely. Uh, this eye is starting to freak me out. Okay, let's go. Thankfully, we're not too far from home. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? something else in the water here. This looks like valuables. Oh, interesting. Nice. A key. Okay, so that's uh, one of the objects that a guy wanted to find. Right, is there another dock around here? 
Need another dock. It's starting to get late. Oh, here's some wood. Cool. That's the last bit of wood we need. Hope that we can find some kind of dock because we're being watched. Hold on. Did this work last time where we entered uncharted waters and it just kind of exploded us and then teleported us with all our stuff back to where we wanted to be? So... Look at that. That's cool. Oh, it's, it's sent us here. Okay, I just want to rest here then, for now. Because I want to go and drop off that wood. That'll do. 20 to 4. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, back to the material pile. Last bit of wood. You delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. We will. We'll head back. Hi there. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Uh, oh, I can take her as a passenger. Okay, cool. Let's um, put you over here. Oh, hold on. Um, I might need to think about this a little bit. Hold on. You don't mind being upside down, do you? Or like sideways or something. Sorry, can I just use you to move some other things. Oh, I can. Can I just ditch this off the side? No, I kind of want it. Oh, there we go. Done. Good riddance to you, Greater Marrow. I'm onward bound. Alright, let's drop her off at the place where she wants to go. Yes, yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. She reaches into her toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. Can I put them straight into it? No, I will have to carry them with me. That's fine. We've got plenty of room. So now what we need to do really is drop off this key. You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Yeah, I mean, it was massive. It took up, like, most of my boat. Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have travelled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes soon enough. Well, that was dredge. Wow, abyssal abilities. <laughs> it's uh, kind of like a weird Lovecraftian fishing game. Don't forget to like, consider subscribing as well, and leave us a comment to see if you want to see this game in the future, or what other games you've seen on Steam Next Fest that you've liked the look of. Until next time, Take it easy.